If you like customized wallpapers, Wallpaper Engine is one of the best tools that you can download, but it's not perfect and can run into errors. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidot Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix black screen errors on Wallpaper Engine. So the first thing that we have to do is head over to Steam, uh, go to your library and just find Wallpaper Engine in this list. So wallpaper engine is not showing up in this list that is interesting oh sorry so if i select software it should show up yeah wallpaper engine right here right click this and then click on uh, properties now in here uh, we are going to the installed files section and uh, just make sure that you uh, run a integrity check on all of the software's files if sometimes you're uh, missing a file or something that can cause problems with wallpaper engine not working as expected. The second solution is to go to the update section. Uh, make sure that this is always set to update itself and just make sure that you check for an update and that you have the latest update installed. Uh, one Another way of quickly doing this is to just uh, click on this. Uh, the store icon for this and you sh should see an update button here instead of a launch button so if there is an update available go ahead install it restart wallpaper engine and then try again uh, next another issue uh, another fix that we can try in steam itself is to just go ahead right click wallpaper engine again click on uh, properties and then come to uh, launch options under the general section. So in launch options, uh, you click on this. So it currently is set to ask when starting game. So every time I start wallpaper engine manually, it asks me what launch option I want to use. And you will see a bunch of different options here. So you'll see launch wallpaper engine and launch wallpaper engine 64 bit. Generally speaking, wallpaper engine will figure it out on its own what uh, process it needs to run. But if you're getting black screen errors, what you have to do is launch the 64-bit version. Now, this may use more RAM. Uh, it varies from system to system. But uh, it's uh, in your best interest to go ahead and launch this particular uh, version of Wallpaper Engine just to make sure that you're getting the most out of it and you don't get the black screen error. Now that we're done with the fixes on Steam, we can move on to other things. So the first thing that you need to do in this case, uh, outside of Steam, the, the fixes that you're trying is to try and check for GPU driver updates. Depending on whether you have an Intel, Nvidia or AMD GPU, uh, these things will vary. So I'm just going, I have an Nvidia GPU, so I'm just going to search for Nvidia GeForce Experience. The GeForce Experience right here. Click on it to launch the utility. We'll give it a second to fire up in here i'm going to head over to the driver section and as you can see it already tells me that i have the latest driver installed but just to make sure if we go to the other end there is a check for updates button go ahead and click it and it will quickly fetch and tell you that you have the latest driver installed if you don't have the latest driver installed an update option will appear here so go ahead and update your gpu drivers just to make sure that your uh, on the latest driver and that your graphics card isn't causing the problem uh, another problem that uh, your gpu may be causing or windows might be causing actually is that your wallpaper engine is not running on your dedicated gpu to fix this press windows key plus i to open up a windows settings and in here i'm just going to search for graphics Wow, that went away. So search for graphic settings, click on this section. And now this will give you an entire list of apps on your PC and uh, what GPU they're using. So for example, if you're on a laptop or if your processor has a built in uh, integrated GPU, uh, Windows automatically decides whether uh, it uses the power saving GPU, which is the integrated GPU or the high performance GPU, which is the dedicated GPU. Now, as you can see, I do not have wallpaper engine in this list. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is that I'm going to add a desktop app and then click on browse. 
now in this window that opens up i'm just going to find my uh, executable file for wallpaper engine so i have it on my d drive you might have it on something other than that so uh, i'm going to select wallpaper 64 because that is the version that i run and then go ahead and click add now if you scroll down you will see that wallpaper64.exe appears here so click on options uh, generally it will be set to let windows decide but uh, we are going to set it to high performance and that's what we're going to let it run on uh, you can try disabling don't use auto hdr because auto hdr just tends to mess things up on windows for some reason it reduces your frame rates makes your games look wonky so the best thing that you can do is just select high performance uncheck don't use auto hdr and you should be good to go another potential issue uh, finally speaking is uh, that you have razer chroma or iq running in the background now i do not have razer chroma or iq installed on my system because i don't use any of those peripherals but uh, just to show you how you can close that process is if you right click the start menu and head over to the task manager let me just bring in task manager here so yeah, uh, you can see all of the different processes running here. Just scroll through this list and find uh, Razer Chroma or IQ. These two programs are supported by Wallpaper Engine uh, just to get integrations with your uh, RGB lighting on your setup and your wallpaper to sync. But uh, find it. So for example, uh, let's assume this LG Hub agent is Chroma. And uh, select this, right click, end task. End IQ or uh, Chroma and then uh, restart wallpaper engine and if your wallpaper comes back online then there is an integration issue between chroma iq uh, and wallpaper engine so you can work that problem out with itself uh, the simplest way to do is just, just disable that integration so if i launch wallpaper engine yes so if i launch wallpaper engine i will head over to the settings button in the top uh, head over to the plugins tab and you will see that iq and chroma sdk is enabled so just uncheck this box to disable this go ahead and save your settings uh, wallpaper engine will need to be restarted for these to apply so go ahead and click ok your wallpaper will be gone for a minute and then it should come back on without any problems so you will not get the sync between your peripherals and your monitor but at least your monitor uh, or at least your wallpaper will be active if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video